guys, thank you for watching Channel B. I'm Ruby here. So today I'm going to do an unboxing as well as a review for one of my new purchase. So um, if you guys actually been following us very very closely, you will know that I did not purchase it myself. I mean with some help. So you know my best friend Anne was out doing her usual shopping. So she helped me purchase this item. So I have not seen the item personally. I saw them online and I really really love it. So today I am going to unbox it and sit together with you. So yeah, I'm kind of busy lately so I did not have the chance to go to the boutique. So uh, this will be my new purchase. Monet? Yep. So uh, just have a quick sharing with you i think this is a really really new brand so it'd be good for me to share with you a little history on this brand so um now i'm looking at my computer so i'm not able to give you any sort of eye contact forgive me but i'll give you more in a short while so uh this brand actually started in the near like early 18th century uh it's actually a french uh trunk maker uh, kind of brand. So uh, back in the past, uh, trunk making is actually a man kind of uh, industry. So Mon Monet, um, the lady who actually started Monet, she's the only and only one lady that is working in this industry. So it was very prominent. So um, she started her first store in Paris. And however, I think it's due to the competition back then during the trunk making during that era. So unfortunately, they actually closed all during the 1970s. So um, Louis, um, LVMH saw that it's a potential for this brand. So they actually brought it under their wings in 2010. And in 2011, it was their first time they actually reopened this brand. So this brand is actually born in, in France, right? So logically, the very first flagship store was actually open in Paris. So um, I did some reading and googling. So the store now in Paris. If you guys are in 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 France and going for Paris for any sort of shopping, check it out. So they were saying it's just very very near to the her, the prominent uh, Hermes uh, flagship store in Paris. So it's very near. So yeah. So it kind of makes sense, they are very near to each other. Uh, so if you are there for shopping, for bag shopping like that, check it out, yeah? So um, so this brand was actually under the wing of LVMH now. So uh, what, what I did online is like, which quite kind of true, because this brand is not as um, well advertised as other brands, like uh, Louis Vuitton itself, Many other brands under Louis Vuitton are very well advertised, very well known. But Monet is not that all. So currently the marketing strategy for this brand is more of like words of mouth operation. So this is how they work. It's like, oh, I like this brand. And in terms of their quality, in terms of the craftsmanship, it's really quality. So that's why people are more than willing to spread it around. So um, currently, uh, in 2017, uh, July, it was the first store that opened in in Singapore. That's how Anne managed to get this for me. So just in case you are in any other parts of the world, you don't have to uh, worry. Currently, they have a few stores in all other 8 countries. They have it in definitely France, UK, London. Uh, in US, it will be in New York. And in Hong Kong, um, Japan, which is Tokyo, uh, Korea, it will be in the main city, Seoul. And then in China, uh, they have a quite a number of stores in Beijing. As well in Taiwan, they have a store in, I think not just a store. They have a, quite a number of stores in different countries. But um, in, in Taiwan, Taipei, city of Taiwan, um, they only have one store. Yeah, correct. So I'm very happy this brand has finally come to Singapore. I do not have to like fly elsewhere to just shop and look for it. So are you guys excited to unbox together with me? So today my outfit kind of matches with my packaging. So yeah, 
Does it make sense? <laughs> I know, right? I just make it totally late. So uh, this is their paper bag in orange color. So the front, it will actually has his, his brand. But at the back, just plain nothing. So just the brand labeling at the front. So um, on the paper bag handle, they have ribbon tied onto it to make it secure. So they actually have two ribbons, so that's cute. I hope the internal packaging is as good as is really really good because I if you if you watch the review that Anne has done, so she was kind of complaining on the, like the the stuffing was not properly done. So I hope it would be better for me. Maybe I'm just thinking too much because she bought it at the same time. It was the same person that packed for me. <sighs> I'm just having some sort of hope. Yeah. <laughs> so when I'm to remove it, so this is actually the oops, it's kind of heavy. So this is the box. So let me put aside the paper bag. Yeah. So before I put aside the paper bag, oh. Let me show you the internal of the paper bag. It's actually in dark brown color. So the coloring is actually very matching to the handle. The I think it's neon handle of this paper bag. It's also brownish color. So and if you look properly at the logo, it's not literally black black. So maybe in the camera we are not able to see it well. But actually it's like the label is in in like dark chocolate brown. And then Monet and the Paris with is in um, reflective gold, metallic gold. Yeah. So yeah, let me put this aside. So um, this is the receipt that I found it inside. So yeah, the receipt actually indicate the client name. So Anne was the one who purchased for me, so it was stated there. And it stated the the store need, uh, location that it was being purchased. I put um so Anne actually helped me purchase it in Singapore outlet at Nian City Takashimaya Mall. So um actually indicated the the item, the brand, and the pricing. It's a very simple receipt. Mm, there isn't any like terms and conditions stated on there. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. The terms and condition is actually stated at the back. So, nothing fancy. Yeah. So, yeah. So, this is the box. So, quite good quality. So, for the box, there's a little green line. And it's fully in orange. Uh, matching packaging as the paper bag. And, alright, just a logo here. Like what I mentioned earlier, the back. The backing of the logo is actually dark brown in colors, as uh, and then uh, gold, and their name in golden wordings. Yeah. So let me open up together with you. Oh, you seems to have better view than I do. <laughs> so, ta da! This is how it looks when I open it up. So um, they have the paper cushioning like what you see for you to review your bag so even for the paper this paper packaging here is also in dark brown rather than black I'm not sure if you could see it so see the same color what I meant so yeah just as what Anne has encountered uh, the cushioning that they had was was not really sufficient so I hope they could work on it so I took out my bag so now let me put this box aside as well, so it's easier for me to continue on my review. <laughs> so alright, so this is the bag that I bought. Alright, so the the dust bag is actually in in darkest form of brown, and then neon drawstring like what you could see over here. Okay, and then on the dust bag. The back is totally plain, dark brown, but on the front, they indicated the brand name in a darker version of brown. I'm not sure if you could see it from here. So yeah, so this is the brand 
and then below it indicated Paris. But the logo for the brand over here is actually more elongated in terms of the wording as compared to what you see over on the box and the paperback. On the paperback, if you see the logo is the smaller version, but the one now on the dust bag is the elongated ones. So I guess they have a couple of logos. I'm not sure if you could see. I'll put a picture later over here so you could take a look at it, have a better view of how it looks like. So are you excited? What is the bag I got? Yeah, I got one of their classic bags. So, ta-da! So, um, this bag is called Maidaly. So, uh, let me have more information of it. Alright. So, Maidaly, uh, Mad Madeline. So, not Maidaly, Madeline. So, it's a really nice name because when I think about this name, I'll think about the French cake. I think if you guys are very much like me, a foodie, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, so um, this is Madeline. So um, they, con they consider this as a clutch and so it, it, was, it looks really good, see, the feeling in terms of the color. So for this color, it's actually uh, it's cons um, it's a dual color. So this is actually, uh, the main body is Storm. As well as the inner part, I'm not sure if you could see the gradish here. This is zinc. So it's a dual color. And they actually provide the, me with a free uh, luggage tag. And I've chosen pink because it's brighter in color. I highly doubt I'm going to put it onto the bag when I'm using it. But yeah, it's, it looks really good. So yeah. So for the tag they have actually given me, um, it's just a... Um, appreciation gift I think because it's their opening so um, there's a Paris Eiffel Tower on top and then uh, the Eiffel Tower is actually in silver color and then on the back is actually uh, indicating the brand name as well as like it's make in France so um, so the dimension is actually 21 cm 15 cm and 15 cm in terms of height so we it's, it's quite a good size and it's extremely light so I kind of like it a lot so um this is actually in calfskin leather so is so I went to read about it so this leather they call it um this is actually green kind of leather and then the name of this leather is called ca carrot so it just makes you feel luxury. You think about like my diamonds, how many carrots does it have? So this is uh, carrot leather. So um, so I read about it. They were saying like this design um, is actually entirely uh, cuffed from the start to the end with a single cuff man. So one cuff man, they only, they, it's the same workman shape from the same person because like certain brands Maybe not all brands, but certain brands is like this is actually done by this calf man. That area, that end of the part is done by another calf man. So it's actually as pretty prestige as Hermes. So it's like um, it's totally one bag. It's done by just one calf man. So um, so this is the cl uh, the clo uh, closure, the clutch over here. Yeah. So it's a round one and it's towards the outside, outwards. So you would think about like, uh, I think what is it called? Hermes has a, has a dongun, right? Yeah, so it's pretty much similar. It looks like, but no, different. So uh, it's still brand new. So uh, Anne was telling me when she got this, this was the very, very last piece of brand new ones. So I'm very happy I got it. So um, I've not re removed the blue label on here. So over sh on the metallic label here, they actually indicated the brand again onto it. So yeah. So how do you open this? Is actually using the stripe. So it's pretty much like how my Hermes wallace look like. You have to remove from the round slot and then you open it. Okay, I mean like definitely it's not a very easy to open one. It's just, and but for the outlook, I think it's really beautiful and it worth it. So um, the reason that got me want to buy this bag is because um, it has a very unique shape. 
and I do not have any clutch which is like that with a ha with a top handle and that sort. So I think it's really cute and, and beautiful colours, blue. So it could really match really well. And what I love about it is actually dual colour. So it's not that obvious, visual, because it's like grey and this sort of blue. It's not that obvious. But when you open it up and you look internal part, you could say you could see a different color so this is the gray and this is the outer blue you could see the differences so it's very beautiful because you know sometimes when you have the same color for the entire bag it might be boring so having a dual color bag is, is beautiful I don't think I have a lot of bags that is in dual color so this will be a new option so um, what do I have inside oh there's something inside the bag so there's this envelope within and let me see what is inside the envelope so inside the envelope this is the authenticity card and then and then they will have a card to tell you on the material and this is just the uh, instruction menu how to take care of your bag so yeah there are three 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 different cards one two and three in the envelope let me put it aside while i continue to have like detailed explanation on this bag so the stitching is actually the same color as for the bag because some of them they have actually a unique color like different color stitching to make it more prominent but for this the stitching is actually the same color as the main body and then within the whole bag there is a card holder I'm not sure if you could see it so I myself is actually quite curious what could I place inside so just give me a minute I want to see how it looks like so this is my Hermes wallet so my Hermes wallet opening is like this so it's actually quite similar to the, the sort of opening for my new bag so I could easily put in my wallet into this bag so it's perfect so um, normally for my mobile phone um, I normally hold it on my hand rather than put it inside my bag so I think it's not a problem so sweet earpiece is normally what I put and yeah my wallet earpiece these are my essential stuff so yeah so this is how it looks and um I think Anne actually helped me do a try with the sales assistant phone. Uh, it's a iPhone Plus. I do not know exactly what model it could be placed inside, but not in the most comfortable position. But yeah, it could still go into this bag. But I don't think I want to do it because it's like if I'm gonna do it, it might kind of extend the side of this bag, and I kind of like the shape of it. It has this dumbling look and it's really beautiful i don't think i want to destroy it so yeah that's it for today so thank you for watching channel b i hope you like my review and unboxing and definitely i will be linking uh another bag which is from this brand so that if you have not watched and review on that bag uh then you should because um, I think she did a really good job. She did a lot of comparison using her Hermes bag and giving into a very detailed education of this this brand. So if you're really really interested with this brand and if you're really really sick of Hermes bag, you wanted something else other than Birkin, Kelly, Lindy, Hazan, then you should consider this. Check out this brand and if you're in Singapore, please do not hesitate to head down to Takashima Nian City to check it out. So that's it for today. If you like my videos, of course you give a thumbs up for me. 
and then please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you and hope to see you guys soon. Bye bye. Ta ta.